What's up, guys? Uh, as always, it's Tim uh, with another TNC Cast video. Um, today is actually going to be awesome because I'm going to discuss something uh, very, very cool. Um, I got my hands on something here. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, yeah, that is uh, the rough draft of the new constitution for the Split Nation uh, roleplay that's going on. Um, I've read it. It's about seven pages long. Um, it's re it's pretty good. It's it's pretty solid, and it leaves a lot of uh, uh, of room for expansion, and it leaves a lot of room for checks and balances among among some things. So that's really really good. Um, I'm not allowed to go into detail. I was sworn uh, to secrecy on, on some of the stuff uh, before I was actually allowed to have a copy um, to make a video over. So, yeah, but uh, this is, uh, it's actually really, really good. It's, uh, it's laid out very, very well. Um, it's, very, uh, it's very easy to understand as well. Um, so that's good for uh, players that maybe not, uh, don't know political jargon very well and so on and so forth, which I, is useless, so don't you know, bother learning it. Um, but uh, it's really, really cool. Um, a few things that I thought were uh, were good is the uh, the fact that the the way laws are going to be done. Um, countries can have their own laws, and then there will be uh, other laws uh, that that scope over the whole empire. So for those people that were hoping to blow something up in this country and then flee to this country, thinking that they won't get in trouble, are sadly mistaken because that could be heavily abused, especially if uh, these two leaders agree to like a free trade agreement where, you know, we can we can go over there and they can come over here and so on and so forth, back and forth. Um, it would be really hard to ever catch any criminals, especially if, uh, and I don't, I, and I, by any means, none of what I say is as absolute, and I was told that this was a rough draft, so obviously things could change and so on and so forth, um, but, uh, if there's like opposing police forces, which I don't know if there will be or not, um, doesn't seem like we have the player base to su to support that. Um, but if there's opposing police forces, and let's say Police Chief A hates Police Chief B, and that criminal runs over there, and you know Police Chief B says, "Hey, can I? Can you help me out?" And police Chief A is just like, "No, I don't care. That's your that's your problem. I don't care." Um, so yeah, that's really uh, it's it's really helpful for that, um, and, and it helps it so that isn't abused super heavily. I mean, and some people may say it takes out the realism, but realistically, you can't travel to another country in two point five seconds. All right, so um, and realistically, you can't have a car called by remote. So and realistically, you can't be shot in the head and, and live. Well, you can, but. Not like we do in the game. So uh, that that's really cool. So there was there was other stuff. Um, let me look at it here real quick. I, I didn't really set up. Uh, this is kind of just a real quick video. Um, uh, it talks about uh, the uh, the emperor. Um, it talks about peerage. Um, it talks about uh, uh, citizens. Uh, and another thing, citizens are going to have a huge role now. A private citizen is going to have a lot of power now to to hold sway over the government, especially if they have good ideas, which is awesome. Because um, way back in the day, uh, when we had you know the, the prime minister and assembly, we could you could technically submit a bill uh, to a uh, or a uh, request or something to to an assembly person or a council member, uh, and they could bring it up in in assembly, um, but they would have to. They would have to endorse it, um, and then this you could just submit anything. I mean, obviously it has to go by popular vote and everything, but that is that is huge because never has a private citizen just been able to write a bill and just say here, you know, make this law. Um, and I, and like I said, obviously I have to go to a vote and everything, and not everyone could just write a law and say, hey, chewing bubble gum on a Tuesday while crossing the street is a class A felony. So it doesn't it doesn't work that way, but um, it's very cool in the way that, yeah, anybody, anybody can submit a bill. I mean, if you're, you know, three months old or, or, or two months old or 
eight years old in the game. Uh, not not actual age. I don't know eight year olds are playing. Um, then uh, yeah, you can you can just make a wall, and that's awesome. Um, some other things again. I'm not. I have to be. I'm not allowed to go into super super high detail. Um, some other things that I saw that were really cool uh, was uh, uh, there's going to be a uh, there's going to be the two prime ministers and there's going to be another seat which I'm not sure of the name yet. Uh, that's actually kind of uh, kind of cool and it kind of helps with the whole checks and balances system. So you're going to have the prime minister of each nation or, or whatever they call themselves. Um, uh, I'm just used to prime minister. Um, and then you're going to have this other seat. Uh, it's going to be cool to see what this other seat can do. Um, it does outline it in here, but I don't want to give away too many details. Um, but it just looks awesome. I mean, it, it looks like it can be a lot of fun. Now, of course, um, let me see if there's anything else in here that I want to cover. Um, it talks about uh, exemptions, how you join a country, things of that nature. Um, it, has an, it has a Bill of Rights. Uh, which is very similar to the old constitution. Um, it talks about the different kinds of legislation for countries and imperial. Uh, imperial being the entire empire and countries being, you know, uh, subjective to just that particular country, uh, whereas imperial would be objective. It um, uh, talks about uh, appointments of different, uh, of different uh, national uh, gover government positions like justices and so on and so forth. Uh, which is actually really cool because uh, the uh, it sets it up so where you can't get screwed if a judge like loses their uh, loses their appointment as a judge, uh, but their your case is still pending. You don't have to wait for the transition or anything like that. It actually sets it up to where um, you can finish that case out, so you know criminal role play doesn't get stalled for long, long periods of time. Um, very, very cool. Uh, very cool stuff. Um, let's see here. Uh, and then there's the Bill of Rights. Um, oh, something else that's not in here. Uh, there is not a no capital punishment clause in this in this uh, particular uh, Constitution anymore. There is. None whatsoever. So I don't know if maybe it's just an oversight or maybe capital punishment is on the way. Um, but uh, yeah, there is no clause stating that the capital punishment is outlawed. Um, uh, slavery is still outlawed, I'm sorry. Um, and a few other things. Uh, something that I thought that I noticed, um, one of the rights says that people have the right to own firearms providing they possess the proper credentials. And that's kind of new kind of, um, because I don't know what the proper credentials are. So, and I'm guessing that's something that will be, you know, elaborated on. Um, I'm just, I'm trying to get through this really quick here. Uh, you can actually be exempt from national um, uh, membership, one or the other. Um, and there's special circumstances for that. Uh, Talks about peerage uh, and the regions that they hold, uh, the formation of nations. It talks about uh, it doesn't say what islands will be in each nation, but it does say uh, what will be in each nation, what they must possess, and what they must, you know, and so on and so forth. Um, there's going to be a few different, uh, a few different groups. Uh, governmental groups. Uh, there's going to be a council of peers. Uh, not going to go too much into that, but there will be one. Um, talks about the powers and so on and so forth. Like I said, it's seven pages long. There's a lot in here. Um, and I'm kind of dragging it on. Now, I do want to discuss what I think the cons could be. I mean, th this, this Constitution is awesome. Don't get me wrong. It's very, very cool. Um, and it, it, like I said, it's very, it leaves a lot open uh, for expansion. So it, if a system becomes outdated very quickly, this constitution sets it up so it can be very easily manipulated uh, to, to work 
with with any sort of adaptation that I may need to work with. Um, now, I did want to discuss some cons that I feel could be cons, and I don't think that it's the, with the setup uh, whatsoever. It's more to do with our player base. We don't have a huge player base, uh, which is sad because we used to. Um, and I feel like a lot of our players don't, a lot, I'm not saying all, so when you watch this video, don't OOC, I like conflict, Tim, but I don't see uh, a lot of our players, they like conflict, they don't. And I'm not saying violent, bloody conflict. I'm saying friendly conflict. You know, we're going to have these two different nations, and I feel like, you know, people are going to go, just go to Stratford and sit there and just act like nothing happened. And I want there to be a little bit of friendly rivalry going on. You know, I want, uh, I want, you know, your, your country sucks. Like, that sort of thing. Um, I want there to be some, some friendly, friendly stuff going on. Or unfriendly, I don't really care. It's cool with me. Um, I can see, uh, now I see where I was saying earlier that I don't think we have the player base to have two different police departments. Um, and plus, Holden, I mean, it would, it would just be difficult to do. Uh, really, it would. Um, but uh, I don't see a problem with prime ministers maybe setting up their sort of own security force. Because um, you, you don't want to abdicate anybody, obviously, by saying, you know, hey, I, I'm big and badass. I can just take you out if I want to. You don't want to threaten them, or maybe you do. Um, but, I don't, know, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Uh, I want some tension, not, not full-on Cold War, Russia versus United States tension. That's not good. I want people building bomb shelters in the backyard. Um, but I do want, I want some tension. I want, you know, and I'm not necessarily between the citizens, but between the governments. Because that's something I like to watch. I like to watch that unfold, and it's a, it's a lot of fun that way. Um, but the citizens, I want you guys to... So, you know, have some friendly rivalry. Note and accept that there are two different nations and role play accordingly. I mean, you don't have to just hate people, especially if your friends go to another country. But, think of it this way, you could have a best friend that's like, no, hey, I want to go to this country. And you say, no, I'm, I'm going to this one. And you guys split up that way. That could create some conflict there. I mean, it, you could feel a little bit backstabbed. You know what I'm saying? So, um... There's just, there's so much room for role play in this sort of setting. Um, and let's try to maybe rally some troops and start recruiting some more players so we can get a larger, I would like to see, ideally, 30 and 30, as far as population goes. Um, uh, more is, is great. <coughs> but uh, 30 and 30 would be awesome. Right now, we're about probably going to be about 15 and 15, maybe 20 and 20. Um, adding 20 more players to our roster, not difficult whatsoever. Stealing from other games, I don't give a shit. But having two different, uh, two different uh, countries like that with that many people, you have that many personalities going at once, there's going to be a lot of role play going on, and that makes it more fun. Now, I'm not saying everyone needs to bring in somebody that just wants to have a one-shotter and suicide bomb shit. That's dumb. That doesn't set up for long-lasting roleplay. And so many of you, and I'm not trying to be offensive or, or anything like that, like to set up those one-shot roleplays to where something bad happens to you and you get all this attention for a little bit and then you just act like nothing happened. That's not fun. This game is built on long-lasting roleplay. So we need to get some storylines going to where it's a it's a lot more fun. And I'm not saying storylines that just involve your character. Right? So many people uh, write role plays just involving them where, you know, somebody from their past comes and haunts them and then they on the radio, he's after me, he's after me. No, no, no. You want wide scope role play. That makes it the most fun. I know people, you like your attention every once in a while, and that's fine. Uh, you can get it another way, though, without writing a role play just involving your character and one other character, uh, played by your best friend. How is that fun, playing with the, playing a role play with somebody you already know and what they're going to do? And you're on aim going, okay, now attack me this way. That's not fun if you know what's going to happen. That's stupid. So, um, yes, this sets... <coughs> <coughs> by the way, I have strep throat. I'm sorry. Um...
this sets us up for so much roleplay. And so, like I said, wide scoping roleplay. Two nations, great idea. My only cons is our player base. I don't think it's large enough to, not to say that you can't pull it off successfully, to pull it off with a, with a big bang. And so I feel like if our, you know, small and limited player base um, would either really pick up the role play and stop being so passive aggressive about everything, uh, it could be awesome. Or if we started recruiting some more players. Um, but remember, don't base your role plays just on you. Base it to benefit the game. And if your idea of benefiting the game is creating action for one night where you go to the hospital and everyone, you know, cries over you getting shot, um, go back to the drawing board, okay? Uh, I don't mean to be rude, but just do it. So, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be awesome. I like everything I see here. Like I said, it leaves it open for so much improvement. Um, not that it needs to be improved on. I don't want to be offensive that way either. But uh, yeah, it leaves so much just openness to the game that, that will really help it out. And I really want to see some friendly rivalry going on. And then later down the road, if we get some douchebag PMs on both sides, let's see some, some more action. Let's see, you know, some, uh, some subterfuge and a little bit of uh, espionage going on, you know? Um, <coughs> so, yeah, it, and it looks awesome. And there's uh, something I didn't mention. There's bonuses for uh, nations, depending on things that they do. Uh, so that's going to create some friendly rivalry between the governments, um, and so on and so forth. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, maybe PM1 wants to make this big office building with all these jobs ready for players. Uh, and, you know, the emperor is like, well, that's, you know, really cool. You know, thank you for making that. PM2 is like, mm, nah, fuck that, and just goes and bombs the building and brings it down. That would be awesome, okay? I don't, uh... That's just that's just great. Uh, I, nothing better could happen there. So uh, I want to see some shit like that. Maybe later down the road. Let's let's get it stabilized first. Um, but yeah, I mean this is just my quick, and I'm talking very very fast. You have to make this video as short as possible. Um, this is just my quick uh, and very vague uh, generalization of the new constitution that I've seen. Um, uh, and it's very awesome. It leaves a, a lot, uh, a lot of openness. Like I said before, uh, leaves a lot of room for role play and interpretation. Um, and it's just, it's going to be awesome. And I just want you guys to jump on the bandwagon and really, really support the transition. So uh, that's that is my sort of uh, plea to you, as well as a video kind of, uh, kind of giving you a, a heads up on uh, some of the stuff that's going to happen. That's very, very cool. Um, and letting you know that, uh, you know, it's, it's not going to be overpowered or anything like that. And people aren't going to be able to abuse it too much. Uh, so we'll have, you know, it won't, it will still have fun. It won't be in something that's abused heavily. Um, but yeah, like I said, the, the big thing, the biggest thing, uh, two biggest things are that, uh, anyone can submit a submit a law. That's awesome. And, uh, the fact that, uh, <coughs> There's this new. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. There's this new position up that's going to have some pretty awesome authority. So, uh, yeah, that's this video. I'm going to go ahead and end it now. I've rambled long enough. It's 18 minutes long. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoy it.